There is a high need for foster kids here in the Brazos Valley, and KRHD reporter Diamond Dixon is speaking with a local foster parent who's helped multiple families in need. Right here in the Brazos Valley, we are seeing a need for foster families, helping kids find a place to call home. Summer Palmer lives in Bryan and says her road to fostering was a journey. My husband and I had two kids, and then we had a miscarriage. My husband's so sweet. He said, we do not have to try again. There are lots of kids that need families. And then we got pregnant just like that and had three more boys. Palmer says when she and her husband moved to Bryan, it was time to foster. And now they've been foster parents for six years and have a family of 10 with ages ranging from two to 21. I am currently responsible for eight. My husband and I made five of them. And then we adopted my nephew when he was 16. Surprise! And we have two foster kids right now that are not related to each other. Katie Thompson with Renaissance Family Services shared the current status of fostering in the Brazos Valley. We're seeing a lot more foster families coming in, which is really exciting. We're still having a lot of kinship families, so a lot of relatives of children that have been removed are coming. Um, which is really exciting to see. So we do, we have a lot of families that are reaching out. There's still a lot of kids that need foster families. Thompson says finding homes for older children and siblings has been a challenge. Specifically sibling groups and older children are harder to place um, just because families are feel more comfortable working with younger kids frequently. Um, so yeah, if anybody has a heart for older children, we definitely need families for them. With it being summertime, there's also a need for people to step in and look after their kids who can't travel. We have a huge need for a respite, which is where um, you know foster families are going on vacation and they can't take their foster kids with them. With fostering, Palmer understands the situations are often temporary. The goal is always reunification, but none of that is up to us. We are love you in the gap people, and it's our job to take care of you right now as long as God says that we get to have you. Palmer recommends if you're not quite ready to become a foster parent, you should consider becoming a certified babysitter as they're also in high demand. And Brian Diamond Dixon, Care HD News.